Hey friends, welcome to my blog Sahla Parvi. So today I'm going to talk about how did Nick Vujicic influenced me to become who I am. So I saw Nick's video when I was 21 years old. And that's one of very, very transforming uh, time of my life. I think from the age of 16, I started practicing meditation, visualization, reading a book. And, and I had a, uh, you know, thought process or belief that, you know, when you really dream something and believe in something, you can actually make it happen. And I, and, and I was going through that thought process, but still I had a lot of inferiority complexes. I never believed in myself. I, I felt like there is, you know, I, I'm not good enough. All those confusions were, were deep inside me, which I was trying to overcome, which I was trying to hide and uh, still going forward. So seeing Nick's video, I was like astonished and I was just thinking, uh, I hope you know Nick or if you don't know, please uh, check out his videos. His books are all available. Uh, why I talk this today is because I was reading his book and I was like, I need to speak about this in my blog and you need to really, really understand who you are right now. And his, his videos really help you to understand. So Nick was, uh, Nick is a person who does not have two, uh, two arms or two legs completely, but he is one of the most beautiful soul in this world with who I, I was really, really inspired. So uh, when uh, he didn't have two uh, arms or legs uh, by birth itself, he was a handicapped. And uh, when he started going to go to school only, he realized that he was different from other children. And that was very, very painful for him because everyone started teasing him or harassing him. And he felt like, why should he live without two hands or two legs? He was, he cannot do anything by himself. He, he felt very much depressed. And when he was young and in his school days, he tried to jump to the bathtub and suicide because he cannot come out of the uh, bathtub because he does not have two hands or two legs. And uh, he was saying in his story, his, his father came and helped him, saved him. And father told him, Nick, you can do two things in your life. Either blame God for not giving you two hands and two legs because you haven't done anything wrong and still God did not give you two hands and two legs and made you like this. You can blame God, complain God and be sad in life and keep on complaining till you die. Or you can, great, you can be grateful to God for giving you the rest of the parts of the body for the ears, for the eyes and the way you talk and for everything else that you have in your life. And Nick said that this, this, this talk of his God, uh, dad changed his whole life because he started practicing gratitude and being thankful for whatever he have in his life and rather than not what he does not have in life. Then for some time, I was just thinking, oh my God, what am I complaining in my life? I am so blessed with the wonderful body that God have given me. And I am just focusing on the things that I don't have. Every one of us are doing that. Just think, just imagine at this moment, you have a beautiful home to stay or you have a wonderful family. You have a physical appearance that is uh, good. You have a good physique and healthy body. We are not thinking or thanking about all these things we have, but we are focusing on the money don't what we don't have, the job what we didn't get, the assets what we couldn't buy, the love that we lost. We are not thinking about what we have. So when we start start becoming grateful for the little things we have in our life that's going to give us more and more of things that you really need in your life from that day i started practicing gratitude i started being grateful for the things i have rather than focusing on the things that i don't have and tremendously my life started changing and i started visualizing for the things i need rather than focusing on the things that i don't need there is one more really inspiring sentence of Nick Vujicic that has influenced me that he said, God have given me a defected body with a perfect mind, but God have given you a defected mind with a perfect body.
that's what we are doing with our mind we are not training our mind to be best but we are focusing on how to be the worst god has given us everything but we are not training we are not working out to make it the best so nick wijusik is now one of the best speakers in the world one of the best motivational speakers in the world he has a beautiful wife and beautiful kids and living a much normal and perfect life than what we are living because we are focusing more about what we don't have and after listening to his speech let me say you one powerful visualization that worked in my life so i was so inspired and i used to say i want to see him i want to see him in my life i will definitely see him so when i started do, doing my sessions itself in kerala when i used to go to small colleges itself i used to say i am going to meet nick wijusik in my life because i really want to meet i am so inspired with him and people will be like okay nick wijusik someone uh, someone so far how is she going to meet Can kind of face expressions i could see from people but i had a deep desire to meet him and uh, in 2017 uh, nick wijusik was coming to dubai and that's the time i have just just started doing my sessions and i knew he was coming in dubai and i knew the ticket was uh, quite costly so i was like thinking okay i may not be able to uh, go and watch his program because i am not financially that time uh, i didn't want to uh, depend on anyone else and go so i just thought okay i will meet next time or sometime else and i didn't think about it much i remember uh before one day of the program is going to happen just one day uh, back the program is going to happen uh the the program was conducted uh, by one of my close friend and he just called me and said you always tell about you want to meet nick and there's a this is a beautiful opportunity why are you not coming and i was like no i don't want to come i am very busy with my programs i can't say right i i, I can't come right now so he said no 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 you have to come i'm going to give you uh, i'm going to send you the visa and you have to come and we said the ticket is uh, free for you as a gift from me and i was like really and then as, uh, the next day morning i took the ticket and went to dubai and watched his show met him personally and spoke to him and i was like so shocked because of course i had a dream i had a visualization but i never knew visualization was so powerful until i met him and spoke to him so anything you really believe with uh, with a good intention and if it is right for your life that is going to definitely happen in your life when you believe with a beautiful heart and and send a beautiful vibration to the world the universe is going to help you to make it happen so may all your visualization and dreams come true and always be inspired and keep inspiring others to be the best version of themselves thank you so much